Hey everyone, I'm Clayfect, and today we are going to make a fat little hippo baby called Hope. But, but there's more. I will also tell you some hippo facts to keep this more fresh and entertaining, you can say. Anyway, let's get started with the sculpture, shall we guys? But while I'm making the amateur of this little one, I would like to teach you a very important Danish word in this context, anyway. And that is Dele. Dele means fat roll. And I planned to have a lot of Dela fat rolls on this little one. I want it to be a cute and very, very fat little one with a lot of charm, hopefully. So I do apologize that I'm not using the word fat rolls, but it's just not very body positive. And that would be sad for little Hope. So for this video, we are going to use the word Della when we are talking about her voluminous body, <laughs> so to speak. Speaking of voluminous, here you see me making her buttocks, or trying to anyway. I we sculpted it like five times to make it fit her body. But while I'm doing that, shouldn't we have the first hippo fact? Now, we all know that a hippo is quite heavy, but did you know that it actually weighs from one and a half ton to almost two tons being male? I mean, that's a big fella. And it can run up to 30 kilometers an hour. That's like as fast as a scooter. So it actually is a one and a half tons scooter coming towards you. <laughs> if you piss one of those guys off. Now that's impressive. But Little Hope though. Little Hope would never charge anyone. Especially because I'm not done with her legs. Here you see me shaping the foot and gently trying to get the right shape before I gently put it on. I don't know why, but I have always have troubles making the back legs of any creature. I don't know what my problem is, but when the Della is coming on the legs, then uh, it will look much better, I promise which is actually what you see me building up slowly here. I take a small clay thingy and press it in towards the body before I blend it in a bit to make the fold, so to speak. When that is done, I take a broader clay thingy and press in to give another fold and another fold and another fold. And that is how I'm building the entire body up, fold by fold, or daily by daily. So while I'm doing just that, let me tell you a little bit more about Hope and why she's called Hope. So little Hope is a hippo that's supposed to define all we know about hippos, actually. she's the fantasy hippo that are not aggressive and are not a territorial and actually is a pretty kind creature. I don't know if hope actually exists out there, but I would like to think so. I would like to have hope that an animal's nature, be it human or hippo or anything other, can change. So yeah, that's why I made hope. And sorry if my voice sounds sort of funky to you. I'm battling a cold and it will not let go of me. But enough about that. Why not uh, have another hippo fact? Now did you know that the hippo actually is a late night snacker? Yeah, they prefer to eat at night. And 
they can eat up to 35 kilos of grass. If we combine that with the knowledge of a herd of hippos is usually around 20 members in a group, that means that they can at one night eat over 700 kilos of grass. That is so much grass, so even Snoop Dogg would lean back and say, Whoa, guys, take it easy. I mean, that, that's a lot. Anyway, let's get back to the sculpture, guys. After I had made the legs and gave it some defining features, I put the body aside for a while to make the head. The creation of the head was actually pretty straightforward. Take a blob of aluminum foil, put some clay on it, then cyberstock a lot of hippos in order to find the right pictures for your references, and then just start shaping and hope for the best. Now remember guys, it doesn't have to be perfect. That doesn't mean it's defect, it just means it's clay fake, and that means that you are in the right place, so to speak. If you like bad jokes and questionable Google data, that is. And on that note, I would encourage everyone who hasn't done so to like, comment, share and subscribe. It really means the world to me. If you like having fun with Clay and hear story, then this is the perfect place for you. And I welcome you with open arms. And a hippo head in my hands, apparently. Wow, I'm fiddling around with that head. But the eyes was also very difficult because I needed them to be very, very cute. Because if you objectively just look at a hippo baby, it's just a little floppy fat sack. So I needed to give it some defining features besides the Della. And uh, I decided that had to be the eyes. And I am very, very satisfied with how the face turned out. I think it looks just so cute and was exactly how I pictured it. And I just love when that happens. So yeah, I'm happy with it. Now, while I'm giving Little Hope here some defining features and hopefully a cute mouth, let's hear some more hippo facts, shall we? Now, this is a funny one. Did you know that hippos fling poo to mark their territory? <laughs> they do. They use their little tail as a propeller while they are pooping and then they are flinging the poo around, marking it as their spot where the poo hits. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just walk on so many levels, don't you think? <laughs> think if humans had the same mentality, how that would turn out? You want that big screen TV? Throw some poo at it. You want that really cozy couch? Just whop a little poo on it and then it's yours. It's so wrong, so, so gross. But then again, I am human and not a hippo, which is the third biggest mammal on earth. And I have to say, I'm very happy about that now. Very happy. I'm not that big a fan of poo. <laughs> anyway, now with the face done, all I had to do was place Little Hope's head on her body before I started blending it in and making some more folds or della around the neck to really sell the little chubby hippo look. And again, I did it like I did the rest of the body. I took a clay thingy and pressed it around and smoothed it in until it looked right. I don't know if there is a law on how to make folds or della or fat folds or what you want to call it. But I'm just doing it until I think it looks good and then I move on. That's pretty much the rule with any of my sculpting. After that I put the ears on. And then the base of the sculpture was actually done, so now it was time for some skin details. I did that by taking some wrap around it before I gently stroked it with my dentist tool to give the skin some more details. 
And with that done, all I had to do was speak little hope and she was basically finished. But there was still one thing that I wanted to make this sculpture a little more interesting. I wanted a little butterfly on her nose. But in order to do that, I needed some cosplay. So I did that and shaped out some very, very small wings. Let me tell you, that was not easy constructing such a little thing. But I wanted the butterfly to seem very, very small compared on the little hippo just for the symbolism. And I think it's just turned out way cuter with the little butterfly. Though it was a bit of precision work here, placing the butterfly and making sure that it would stay. But with the just right amount of fiddling and a lot of prayers to the crafting guards, hope was finally done and I could move on to painting. Now I painted her in a darker grey only to move on to dry brush her in a lighter grey to give her some dimension and make all those skin details I made pop. So that's what you see me doing here. After that, I splashed some other grey colors on her to give her again some more details. Before I start with the Dipper Dapper. Now the Dipper Dapper is a thing I should know what it's called. I am a girl and it is a makeup thingy. I just don't use those things other than crafting. But I try my best here to give little Hope the blush she deserves before I move down her body. Again to make the skin more realistic and make her look like a hippo. After I have pampered her enough and given her the right glow, I move on to a pedicure, painting her nails a dark grey and her eyeballs white before I move on to the ears, I think. And while I'm painting a little more, shouldn't we have our one last hippo fact? I have to say, even with the poop propelling, <laughs> I think that the hippo is quite an amazing animal. They can live up to 50 years in captivity, 40 in nature. And they produce their own sunblock from their skin. I mean, come on, that is really, really cool. And it's also a very, very important animal for the ecosystem. Which is not that good because they are sort of vulnerable. We people have hurt them in so many ways. So, in a way, I understand the poop flowing. Yeah, I have to say. Anyway, back to the sculpture. Here you see me painting the eyes, and I paint the eyes so it looks like that little Hope is trying to stare at the butterfly on her nose, making her cross-eyed, because I thought that would be cute. And with the eyes done, I painted the butterfly in a bright orange with some gold highlights and I did that to really make it pop on little Hope's nose. And I have to say I am so happy how it turned out. I am very happy with the sculpture. I think it looks so cute. After the butterfly was done, all I had to do was give some highlights to the eyes to make them come more alive, so to speak. I also gave her a clear gloss coating and I did that to make her look wet because hippo babies actually don't do very well with dry skin. No, their skin needs to be very wet. So of course I did what I could to help little Hope in that matter. But with that being said, I think that is it for this sculpture and it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. It really means the world to me. I hope you like Little Hope. I am very, very happy with her. And I hope to see you again next time. But if you can't wait until next time, why not click on the square to right? There would be a... Uh, cute story about a walrus and her baby. Until then, 
Bye.